Hi, everybody. Um, Hello. We are so sorry that we are 15 minutes late, um, but we've been trying to get Vicki McDonald on. Um, we think there's a problem with uh, her Wi-Fi, and um, she keeps freezing or she can't hear us at all. So we're going to try to get her back in because we really want to uh, have her join us tonight and do some reading. So we're excited. I really wanted to do mostly readings tonight. So um, she's going to try to come back in. And um, we're not really sure what's going on, but apparently um, we're hearing ourselves and we're on delay and all kinds of things. So we're going to go ahead and start. Hi, Andy. Hey, <laughs> Debbie and Jackie. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> It's just one of those gremlins in the works, I guess. And um, okay, she's in the lobby, so we may let's try to get her back in and see if it will work. I have a feeling that she's going to have to be Are you guys wired to, uh, uh, differently mm -hmm. to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. That's what I think too. Vicky? Vicky, can you hear us? Let's type to her and say hello. Maybe that. She said, geez, did she freeze? <laughs> nope. Okay. Yeah, she's frozen. Or just, what is it when you're not in real time? You know? Yeah. Hi, Sabine. I see you're here. I thought that we could, you know, give her questions and then she could... Uh, answer, but she's not going to answer in real time. Darn. Gosh, you guys. Um, I don't know how we resolve this tonight. So um, let me just say that we can't really connect with her and um, we can't hear her. So it's not going to work tonight. Yeah, but uh, she can she can stay and hang out or message us. <laughs> OK, guys, did she leave? Yeah. Um, oh, OK. Well, maybe, she, Andy, you can just message her in, in regular Facebook message. That's a she, shame. I'm so disappointed. She's she's in the lobby, but you know, um, if she send a, sends us a message in in the lobby, um, oh. maybe we can ask on her behalf or something. You know. Yeah. Um, Darn. But. She gave me the best reading, and I don't get readings from anyone. And I just uh, joined her Facebook Live show um, just to support her and be there. And hi, Mary Lynn. And um, all of a sudden, she gave me a message from my brother that had died um, last, just before Christmas. And that was uh, amazing. She got it all. And so I was, like, really excited so that uh, you guys can have a uh, reading uh, from, you know, like three mediums tonight. <laughs> and, oh, well, oh. Uh, uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, I did practice with her, but not with her headphones. And then she said she tested them. And so um, we'll have to figure it out. And hi, Cheryl. Hi, Sabine. Sabine, I miss you. We need to do something. Sabine, I'm all stressed out because I'm watching a dog. <laughs> I need help. Oh, my gosh. I, I hope I can make it the next couple of days. Um, so anyway, what's... Um, um, you guys um, will, will, are giving away uh, another gift card. Cheryl, I don't know if you're eligible. <laughs> you can't win. After two, you can't win anymore. <laughs> well, at least for 30 days. We'll have to put that in. Sure. Um, but we will do readings if you guys want to uh, write us a question tonight. Oh, can you? I'm so stressed out, Sabine. You just don't know. Like before we went on, I wanted to cry and um, just having a lot of issues with this cute little thing. And um, um, I just swear I'll never watch another dog. 
She's so adorable, though. But anyway, <laughs> we'll we'll talk. We'll talk. Oh, good. Thank you, Cheryl. She Give won't play this time. Spread the wealth and not play this round. That also means uh, John can't play either. And how come I see two two of her? Did we lose Mary Lynn? Was it Mary Lynn? No, I oh. think she commented twice. Um, my video keeps getting kicked out. Mm. For um, we keep our live you. feed. You're here. Yeah. It says live. Mm. Oh gosh, we're so professional, people. Oh, somebody <laughs> hi from Australia. Oh, yeah. cool! I love Taz. my Australia fans. Hi, I have a Taz. lot of clients. Hi, Tess. I love that name. I have a lot. Well, back in the day, a lot of my tarot readers uh, that I taught were from Australia. I will. Oh, I will. Wow. Uh, yeah, they were from Australia. And there's a huge thing. And one of my clients sponsored uh, a pilot there, a paranormal television show. And um, so I got to watch the pilot. And so it's pretty big there. Hey, Brandy. I was going to say, oh, Brandy. Brandy there. Good. Patricia. Hello, Patricia. Oh, we got a, we got a few people in here already. Oh, yeah. cool. We have it's nine not, viewers. It's not really showing me three people, but what? <laughs> I don't know about this software, this great <laughs> program. Um, yeah. Um, so, yes, I love my uh, Australian clients. I just did a phone reading for someone, and it's like, you know, way different times. <laughs> I do do readings for people um, on the phone from UK and stuff like that, but I usually don't do it, but he insisted. So he found a time and I found a time I was awake <laughs> and it worked out. They're like 22 hours ahead of us, I think. Oh, wow. About 21 <clears throat> to 22. Um, I have no idea. I let those people <laughs> work that out. <laughs> hi, so. Molly. Wow, we have a lot of people telling us hi today. Well, I'm glad you can see them. Hey, Molly. <laughs> what a pretty uh, picture. We've seen her before, right? Uh, I love it. Yes. A New Zealander. New Zealander. Oh, well, my client was from New Zealand that did the pilot. That's right. For Australia. Uh, but he lives in Hong Kong now. So. <laughs> um Anyway, oh gosh, what do we, a little recap. I, let's see, what time is it? Okay, we have a few minutes and then we'll, um, you guys can post uh, uh, one question in the comments and we'll, uh, we'll look at them. And, you know, at this point, we could probably do quite a few of them and really wish we had Vicki here. Um, it'll work out though. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, let's see. Andy, what if, oh, Andy, so we have you guys, um, some of you may or may not know that our book has been approved by Amazon and waiting right now for the books to actually come in the mail and hold them. That's always fun, isn't it, Andy, to hold yeah. our book? It's, it's like every part of it is exciting, but when you get the package and you open it up and you pull the book out, you're like, yes, here it is. <laughs> and, um, so we are, the little book of Big Evil is um, going to be coming out this month, I would say. Thanks, Sandy, right. for putting that there. So that's just like um, uh, stories, uh, true stories of dark entities that people have encountered. And um, some of them are our stories. So when we have our big book party on June 1st, um, some of the people that their stories are in the book are going to be here in the little boxes. Uh, for you guys to ask questions to about their experience. So that's going to be really exciting. I can't wait, probably because we're going to have dessert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think I'm going to dress up. Wait, I thought we were all dressing up. Yeah, we were. He's going to dress up, dress up. He's yeah, gonna like, take it, to, uh, yeah. Take it another tie? level. Maybe. I'm going to put earrings on. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, I'll dress up. I'll I'll fix the back the backdrop, and we'll all do that. Well, we it, when Michael and Jamie, I invited them, and right now they're at one of those cons. <laughs> I can't, <laughs> can't remember what it is. She's got a new costume. She like they like to do um, 
what's that uh, zelda they like to dress up Zelda and Doctor Who and all that. Uh -huh. So I said, you know, you guys can dress up where you can come in costume. So that'll be a lot of fun when we celebrate that. And we're going to be doing, I believe if it's okay with you guys, we'll do trivia contests that night and give away mm, a bunch of prizes. It, why not? Let's give away lots of prizes. <laughs> and that'll be fun. We're going to give away a prize tonight later on. You know, uh, we'll we'll ask you guys a really, really hard question. <laughs> Mary Lynn just asked Andy, top hat? Are you going to be wearing a top hat, Andy? Is that what it is? Mm. <laughs> a little Fred Astaire. That mm, sounded like a no. <laughs> no, maybe a, a purple or a lavender kind of a colored uh, dress shirt and a jacket and a tie. Um, well, Steve goes, Steve goes, oh, he just needs to get the, the button dress shirt. And oh, so, yeah. Oh, he can, you know, the t-shirt kind. I can, I can wear a dress. I do have a dress. I used it for uh, Albuquerque Film and Media Experience years ago. And I, I needed, I got invited to the, the castle there if you guys have ever been there in new mexico and later on um my friends are um oh gosh i shouldn't name drop okay the <laughs> most famous movie star in the world <laughs> friends with that person and they were having a little dinner after so i got invited to the castle and i go oh shoot i need um i need a like a real dress like fashion and i i was volunteering there with the company so i'm like um, what I, I don't have anything. So I ran out, found a dress and like 99 cent earrings that were big black chandeliers because I thought I'm not <laughs> spending money on jewelry. And, um, I went and I was like in shock. It was this big house that, that somebody built. It was fabulous. And I was looking around and like, um, all the people walking around that were servers and stuff or were all wearing bikinis and like speedos <laughs> and all made up. And I was like, Oh my God, it's just like in a magazine. <laughs> it, was like, it was really cool. And you know, all you can drink and, um, it was quite something. So I had that dress. I can wear it. And um, uh, anyway, that's going to be fun. And I can't wait till we do that. So, Andy, what have you been up to um, metaphysically? How's it going? Um, good so far. I've been a little, <clears throat> a little bit slow on the readings right now. But I think that's just the universe giving me time um, okay. to focus on, you know, the book and also uh, up upcoming projects. And I've got to think of um, like a not well another special or like uh, my own special, but I'm not quite certain yet how or what I'm going to do. So I'm kind of doing that, and um, possibly tomorrow night I have to check with uh, one of my Facebook friends and. He had asked me if I could come on to a show tonight. Well, I'm like, no, we're doing our own show tonight. So um, I might be a guest on his YouTube channel tomorrow night. So, oh, fun. Yeah. So, if you about, are, let us know. You know, post yeah. it so we can see you. Um, so. I created an offer. Um, I decided that I'd do Saturday and Sundays. I mean, I really, I've been so busy. No Speedos. <laughs> Andy, Molly says no Speedos. <laughs> so, Jackie, you and I have bikinis. <laughs> um, I'm not willing to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> not, not right now. <laughs> uh, my uh, my um, offer is going to be something I've never done before. Um, I do I do charge a dollar or more a minute for my readings. Uh, but this weekend, um, I booked all of Saturday and Sunday a $20 wow. reading, a phone or Facebook video for um, how much is it? <laughs> uh, $20 for 30 minutes, which is crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So, um, 
Yeah, I just decided why not? That'd be fun. I've never done that before. Mm -hmm. And um, so it is on a Facebook page. And um, oh, hi, Pam. It's on Facebook page and it is uh, under offers. So it's a new thing. I wanted to figure out how to create one. And I think we should. I think we should have something. But it's only going to be for two days and then maybe you know, Memorial Day weekend, two days or something. So that's a new thing for us. We're trying stuff. Jackie, how have you been? How was I'm, your last couple of days since I've seen you? Um, my days have been really good. Um, I got some exciting news. So I'm not going to share with everybody. <laughs> wow. um, I'll have to tell you guys later. Okay. <laughs> but um, exciting stuff. And um I hung out with one of my best friends today. That's why I came running in the door going, I can't hang out with you anymore. I need, I need to go do my video. I got to leave you. Uh, <laughs> um, so walked in through the door and now I'm here. I've just been working, working my little heart out. Oh, well, that's good. Um, um, well, let's see. Nothing really creepy has happened to me lately. So, you know, um, um, who just told me somebody just got a um, told me that they got a weird text um, that had a, a really weird um, stuff written on it. Oh, f a good friend of mine. She just got off the phone with me and she said um, it said a uh, name of a company and then it said something else. And then it said lie, lie. And I was like, she goes. You don't, you just think it's kind of one of those crazy things. And I said, uh, we pretty much know that this is the other side talking. Hi, Bree. Um, yeah. And I said, it, they pretty much know that this is some kind of message. And I bet you better heed it about that company and a lie. So, um, yeah, crazy. But, um, you know, I, I had a rash of all this deja vu type of stuff and telepathy stuff happening. And it's still kind of coming, but um, with everybody, like with Andy and everything, or just now with Jackie uh, about the game. And I'm just like, well, okay, that's kind of weird. But I haven't really tuned to any spirits. I haven't done a seance or anything to just really bring anybody in. And so um, I miss doing that. Um, I think the Dead Talk will be back in business in maybe another month. Everybody will be together and we're going to start our cemetery right. tours and, um, you know, um, we do spirit circle and stuff like that. If anybody ever gets to San Diego, when, when the dead talk does spirit circle, you know, it's going to blow your mind because I'll, you know, I'll get a name. Other people get a name. We will bring in the spirits. We will tell you all about them. We'll make sure you have validation. You won't go away without saying they did bring that person in and, um, and getting a message from the other side. And it's just really crazy. This is absolutely fantastic when they come in. And, um, and it's a great experience. It's super safe and all of that. So, you know, you'll want to do that. And I'm still hoping that we can get Andy here in October and do some really fun tours and stuff. So that's going to be really great and exciting. Um, okay. So would you guys please put in the comments um, question uh, a question, if you have a question. And Jackie will read it. Jackie, read the whole question to us, and then we'll say we can do it or it needs to be a private message you or got it. all of that. I've already cleared my area. I always clear before. Um, I do readings or I try to. And um, so I'm all set up for that. So that'll be fun. Yeah, so, so you, guys, you know, you guys love money, um, that kind of stuff. Did you guys, uh, oh, first of all, Bree, I'm so sorry about what happened in Texas. The state must oh, be devastated. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, I woke up to that and, and, uh, you know, just um, I just I just shake my head at how crazy the world is, how our kids aren't even safe, you know, from other kids or for, you know, going in to school. school. Yeah, it's terrible. So I would yeah, I would say all our, our hearts and prayers go out to everybody that attends okay. that school or is that has a child that goes to that school, that whole entire city. Um, it's really um, it's sad yeah. to see that it's happening again. 
but um, I do have some questions. Um, okay. Um, will uh, Andy, are you set up with cards or yeah. you need Okay. Yeah, I'm set up with cards. Okay. And Bree, just to let you know, we're pretty shocked too that it keeps happening as well. Um, she said, scary. What's going on? I'm so shocked. But um, so mm -hmm. the first question I have on here is from Brandy. Her question is, is if her life is ever, ever going to level out. You know what I did? I just finally hit, found a button that says comments. That's how great <laughs> we are. At being, I'm like, I, why can't I see him? There I go. <laughs> Molly and Bree and Brandy. Oh, um, you, you can see him? Yeah, yeah I never did. Okay. Because I went and looked. <laughs> Gee, isn't that bad? Duh. Okay, Brandy. Um, let's see. Vicky's here. Vicky's talk talking, you guys. Yeah, Vicky said what's happening. Can you um, type to her and see? Is she just watching us? Let's see. Maybe we can communicate that way. Uh, Vicki, if you can hear us, it had to be your Wi-Fi. Yeah, it, it, it looks like it was your connection or you just had too many, um, both the laptops going at once. Um, that's the other thing because we kept getting a lot of hair back. Our yeah, hair and back delay. Back. Yeah, delay so and maybe, really bad delay. We up, maybe we were up on two things and it we just couldn't do it. So we were kind of hoping that we connect with you and maybe can talk to you through, uh, you know, through uh, messenger. Mm -hmm. So Vicki, what we're doing now, and please keep Brandy's comment up there for me. Brandy wants to know, is her life going to level out anytime soon? So um, I'm going to go ahead and look at that. And uh, Jackie, you can yeah. talk to the audience. <laughs> Best thing I do is talking for a living. But, um, wow, we have a lot of good questions on here tonight. So I'm actually really excited to read everybody's questions. Pardon me if I keep looking down. I'm reading everybody's comments on here. Um, well, let's see. You're, have you got a lot of stuff crazy going on in your life, Brandy? Because it, it, sounds, it sounds like you're, you just want things to calm down. From, from what I'm seeing over here. Um, let's see. Oh, we got 10 people watching right now. So hi to everybody that's tuned in and the fans that keep coming back. Um, yeah, Vicky. Hello, Vicky. You can tell Vicky if she gets anything from Brandy, she can tell Yeah, her. Vicky, if you get any um, anything that you want us to tell Brandy, let us know as well. We really wish we could have gotten everything to work so we can have you on when we're really bummed out about that okay i'm just looking really <laughs> fast hi tina okay are you ready andy yeah Brandy, I get a male and a female in your reading. Uh, the the king and queen of wands, they are actually very ambitious people. So I really like that. I'm getting a lot of responsibility over you almost too much, like almost taking on too much heavy burdens. And the past position is my crazy card. And excuse me for saying that, but it's the moon card. Um, sometimes this is like... Um, unforeseen events and emotional nights and also can be paranormal activity. So very weird stuff going on. Um, I get the judgment card for you, Brandy, and I'm looking at a year for you and I do see some relief coming later, but right now you have the judgment card. This is when you get, this is when we examine our life, like boom, it comes, we examine our life, how we've lived and all of that. We get some clarity over it. It's a big thing and it's a good thing. Um, I do feel like you're going to get good news of money. And I think money is going to be really, really, really good later on. Okay. Um, I get the Ace of Cups. I'm not sure, but there's some kind of love thing going on type of thing. I always tell people when I get this card, if it's applicable, watch out if you don't 
want to get pregnant. So I do have the Ace of Cups. I feel like blessings, joy, and an open heart. Um, I get the card like my happily ever after, almost like my wedding card or a great relationship card coming more uh, the after six months. Um, I feel like you're going to be great success for your lifetime. I feel really good about it. Um, so I feel like things are going to get better maybe before half a year from now. I think they turn and they're good. The ultimate card for you, though, for the end of a year is all these choices that had to have to be made, like these big opportunities or there are these things that you can do and they're the big things in life, not the little choices, but like, where am I going to live or who am I going to marry or what am I going to do? You know, all the big things come and you had to make a decision at that point, but um, you're not ready yet to make it, but there'll be, the opportunities will be there for you. Um, Andy, what did you get? Um. Yeah, my I I think my timing was a little different, um, but I I ended up getting, you know, you want life to be fun and ex and exciting, Brandy, and but the energy crossing you is loneliness and regret and disappointment. So I feel like that has something to do. It's like an emotional disappointment I have, um, and it's it feels like a relationship. Uh, with somebody I didn't get anybody uh, maybe maybe with a younger child uh, perhaps um, you're very intuitive so I get the psychic card the psychic card is the the high priestess so so just follow your intuition you're you're spot on um, listen to what you're getting in the past position though I do see you moving on um, it looks like what you're going through now is what you're supposed to be going through. So you, there's a lesson to be learned. It's, it feels very slow. Um, and then not really much of a time frame, but I, I think it's, uh, I feel like it's less than or around the six month mark uh, where you're going to start getting more confidence, um, more likely to do with your work or your career, um, seeing progress there. Your home situation should be improving. Um, and then I see you, you know, a possible betrayal or an ending. So this would have to do with, um, like, a relationship. The star uh, card comes up, which is, you know, letting go of, um, letting go of things that don't serve you um, or moving past those emotional um, blockages or anything like that. Um, but hope for the future on this. And then money coming in. So I, I see a financial opportunity for you and um, a new beginning, prosperity. So manifest for that. And uh, the final outcome is the Wheel of Fortune. So everything comes full circle for you. And um, good luck and destiny and a turning point. So what you're going through now feels like um, you need to kind of trudge through it. And then the outcome is pretty good. So I, agree. I, yeah. I love the outcome. It's fabulous. <laughs> hang in there, hang in there. And like Andy says, manifest. Alrighty. Now, let's see. The other question I got was from Molly and it was anything from my brother. So that's what she asked there. Molly, can we have his initials or first name, please? Yeah. Do you have the question? Uh, somebody put the question up. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna scroll. Let's see yeah, we've got we've gotten a ton of comments since we asked for questions. I found her question at 19:05. Oh, you're welcome, Brandy. Anything to to help out? These guys are amazing um, at what they do. It won't let me go back that far in here okay to, fine i've got it. it i've got it i've got yeah. it okay i just want to connect but let's see well i got a spirit here and he's right behind me oh my gosh <sighs> it's always a weird feeling when they're uh pushing on okay all right okay okay message from um brother he 
Yeah, Molly said Chris. Chris, okay. Okay. Why is this? I think somebody else was here for Molly because as soon as I said Chris, it back this one backed off. Hmm. But you know that happens. Molly, for you, I do get the Queen of Wands. I get a very ambitious, strong, self-assured woman. So I love that. You're you're those type of people tend to that are driven to reach goals tend to be very successful in life. So I love that. Stay strong. I love strong women. The first card that came down that represents you, though, I feel a little lost, sorrow, hurt. Okay, a little heartache going. I do really feel like there may be an idea that comes for you. Um, I feel like it's energy crossing that um, will put you in a little bit different direction. Um, I feel like you'll recognize it's a good idea, jump on it, and the implementing it will be successful. So that's crossing over right now. I feel like in, in the future, you just go along with whatever it happens going along with the flow whatever's good for everybody's good for you that's really good because it's a path of least resistance um i did get a hangman card this is my card of destiny when i get that sometimes um i feel like you're going to have a big um life lesson that's going to come okay i feel like you're waiting for some resort results or waiting to hear something, okay? I get um, some uh, magnified fears or worry, too. So, um, and then here comes the card of, I really feel like something's going to happen. Um, this can be spiritual growth, but I'm getting more a big life lessons coming. So I'm going to ask about that. I feel like you're looking at your future and a new beginning will come. Um there'll be some decisions to make and it's hard to make. But when I get this card of destiny, I'm like, ah, can Chris tell me what's going on? So I'm going to ask. Okay. And Andy, do you get anything? I did. Um, I, I, I don't normally use um, tarot for connecting to, you know, deceased loved ones. Um, usually they just pop in. Um, but I do feel, I do feel the energy of Chris and I feel, uh, when I, I did uh, the card spread on him, he feels like he was a younger brother. So like you were close uh, to him. He looked up to you as, uh, as a uh, older sister. Um, he was very, he was a free spirit. Everything was safe and routine for him. I feel, I feel strongly that he, um, he had a lot of goals and he, 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 he feels like he uh, could do many things. So he had a lot of ideas that came and popped in his head. So he was good at everything. And I, I keep seeing like a race car. So I don't know if he was into race cars or some sort of uh, collecting. Um, it feels like um, those die cast, um, whatever cars are called that you can collect. Um, I do feel that he he may have suffered emotionally big time, may have, uh, feels like he may have taken his own life. Um, I'm, I'm trying to be very sensitive with this um, due to maybe a heartbreak uh, or something because I, I did get heartbreak and I did get the moon card and I also got death. So it, it showed it in that order. Um, and then um, maybe some worries of money, but I, the message that I feel from him is, and what I'm seeing is a huge hug around you. And uh, he's, he's showing like an animated heart. So it feels like it's a pulsating heart in a heart shape. Um, like he has a lot of love for you. So I hope that message brings you some comfort. 
So um, when I asked about the card of destiny, like what is this life lesson happening? Mm -hmm. What's going on? That's kind of a thing you have to learn from is um, I get that card of having a lot of worry and a lot of fears and but they're magnified so you have to like if your fear was this big you know they're big you have to bring it down and be real but i get these fears or this worry though you have great energy crossing you um the world card of really wanting to fulfill your goals and your desires to make a change maybe in your home or career or whatever you've this is great energy to have <clears throat> crossing you or on your mind I feel like there's going to be confusion, confusion and struggles that comes out of this, okay? You may have heard that maybe some money is going to come, okay? Um, I get there's some kind of trust issue, okay? Not very trusting about something. But uh, like Andy of the Will of Fortune, so um, I really do feel like a positive change comes for you, like a lucky cycle. Great things are to come in the future. So I feel really good and about that. Absolutely. Um, I get the Knight of Cups tending to think romantically, but this is, I get go manifest for whatever you want. And I think that the card of destiny is actually spiritual growth. So if you don't know how to manifest, find out. Our book is really good for that. Um, I do feel like you're going to have a time where money gets juggled. You know, as it comes in, it gets paid out. So do manifest for the money and make sure that that doesn't happen. OK, I get um, I absolutely feel like healing is coming and going in the right direction and also maybe a short trip. But definitely whatever is going on, you're going to kind of leave it like whatever something has built up. You'll know I'm ready to leave that. It didn't work for me. I'm ready to go. And turn and go in the direction of your future. So, like, you're going to have something substantial built up some in some way. And you go, it's not working for me. Whatever this was I had, I'm ready to go to my future. I'm going to have to leave it. So, this is a positive change for you. When it comes, know it's okay. It's going to be better in the future. But whatever you got. There's something that you have to turn away from and go in a different direction. So that's what I think that uh, life lesson is and also to manifest. Okay. So that's what I have. Alrighty. Let's see. Now the next question we had down that line um, sounds very interesting is uh, Tez, our Australian <laughs> person um, says, does my late father ever visit me? I never sent him. I am visiting his grave in New Zealand for the first time in 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the next question on that. <laughs> you know, it's always um, um, moving to go to the graves, but I just went to the Indian graveyard and I got to put my hands, I just put them straight on the cross of the old, of my great aunt, the very old uh, grave. That was from 1940. And it was just an awesome experience. But, you know, I know that, you know, you just have to say, come on in, great, you know, come on in, wh whoever, Guadalupe, I want to talk to you. And they're always there. But um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll do my thing. And and Andy, you can tune in. <laughs> to okay. Yeah. So let's see. Well, I didn't fully what? read the question. Let's see. So this is funeral 20 years ago. So you're gonna go next month, I'm assuming, uh, Tez. You're gonna, she's gonna go next month to his gravesite, and I guess he's been on her mind a lot. Um, I I get you on that feeling, Tez. I am, I've had some of my grandmothers already pass away, but um, I dream about them more than I sense them around me. Or um, one way I really sense them is through music, um, whether I'm driving in my car. Like, for instance, if it's ever one of my grandma's birthdays, I'll hear, like, Seasons in the Sun, and that used to be one of her favorite songs that she liked. Um, I'm mean, I got to stop you, Jackie, because I was out today, and I was in a store, and as I was walking out, was in the pet store, mm -hmm. Seasons in the Sun came on. Oh, and wow. I go, there, <laughs> there's Jackie's grandmother, and I walked out the store, and I 
And then for you to say it right now, I'm like, ah. Well, you know what's funny? <laughs> On my way home from work today, I heard that song. So she she was. She's around. She's everywhere. <laughs> That's my grandma, D. She's <laughs> like, Debbie, 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 I'm here. <laughs> and then you guys have that. Yeah. The, synchronicity that's, there again that's funny <laughs> well, the funny thing is you know how it's muzak or whatever they call it it uh-huh. wasn't the regular song and i kept thinking that's familiar that's familiar but it's you know it's not it's like it's elevator the music correct one and then as i was literally going through the threshold it started in and i go oh Oh, yeah, Jackie's grandmother. And um, so, yeah, I'm not surprised the way things have been going there. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. So, so Tass, if you ever, if there's, you know, even something, whether it's a movie or a sound or anything like that, that's sometimes oh. them just letting you know that they're near you. Um, I get those all the time, those little hints here and there. Um. I'm getting the stuck card. Uh oh. Like major can't do anything about it thing. I get the emperor card, Tez. This is a man that uh, gives advice or mentors an older male. So absolutely, uh, someone maybe you take advice from. And I really, um, this came down first. So I know this is him. I'm getting. Um, the nine of wands, which is being guarded, all right? Kind of a guarded energy over him. Um, that's why I'm like, what's going on here? Um, I feel like he may have, you know, even though, though it was 20 years ago, I think he was something about advice and giving counsel and all of that. I think that he that was important to him. The first card in the reading, though, is this card of um, major stuck and can't, this is when somebody gets like they have no control over what's going on. And that's why I was like, what? Um, I also get the card of grief and loss. So I've got that. Um, because the first card is this, this card of this person all tied up and can't go anywhere or do anything. I really kind of wondering what's going on with him on the other side. The first thing I kind of expected before I even did the cards is like, has he uh, transitioned to, you know, back to earth or something like that. But for some reason, I feel like he's uh, busy. Uh, I really am going to, I'm getting tied up, uh, you know, or kind of stuck. So he may be uh, doing some other things and let's see what Andy can get from that. But I'm getting very stuck. Mm -hmm. Um, But for you, um, I do, I I get happy memories. So I get happy memories from him. This is my son card, happy memories of a child. So I feel really good that he does have that, uh, those memories still, but I feel very sad. Um, I feel very much grieving. Um, and this is, I feel for him on his part that he's experienced the loss as well. Um, I think things are going to change for you too, Tess. I want, I want to tell you, I feel like you are going to, um, reach your goals and, um, um, fulfill desires and stuff big time. And I really feel like maybe world travel for you. So I feel like he's giving you the world. Like, here you go. I'm giving you the world. Um, I think I just getting that he's going along with whatever on the other side that he's supposed to go with or whatever he's supposed to do. But I totally get this being super stuck. Now, I've gotten that before with someone who, you know, in another reading and he was alive that actually was in the same situation super stuck and out of control it was not in his control to do whatever so if you haven't sensed him around him i feel like for whatever reason whatever he's doing on the other side he uh, it's not over, under his control to do what he really wants and i feel like though he grieves uh leaving and he keeps any happy memories that he has with him. They're very, very special. So that's what I'm, I think too, that I think you're going to get, 
over time test, that's how the money's going to come. Like money will come in and it'll just grow and you'll have it. So I know that maybe you're waiting for it and it'll be okay. Okay. I get a good, I feel like he's handing you the world. You're going to be able to do these things. Okay. So that's yeah. what I have. Andy, what do you have? I, I had very similar to what you got. I got the stock card too. And when I looked into your father, I, Tez, I want to say that the image that I keep seeing, and I don't know if he was this way in his life, but um, I keep seeing almost like a professor looking gentleman. Um, he's wearing a suit, like a gray suit. He may have been balding and also maybe a mustache or um, facial hair. Um, I'm, I'm not quite certain, but that's who I'm seeing. Now I pulled the cards on him. Um, he, I got strength around him. Uh, the Queen of Wands, I, I see that as a, a, a female. So I don't know if that's your would have been your mother if he's referring to you as being um, the female. Um, I do see that he feels alone. He must have felt alone in his death. Um, and also, it, it was just kind of like a crisis that happened during his death as well. Um, as far as the other side, he's bored and he needs something new. Um, he's reflecting on his life. Uh, I feel as if he's not willing to take that step to crossover, uh, possibly. Now, uh, that's just my feeling. Um, he, he seems to be bonding with family on the other side or making friends. Um, however, it, what I get is like he's just, he has a lot of female friends that he hangs around with. So I don't know if your mother has passed or not. Or if he's just around uh, you or other females, uh, the final outcome that I have for him is that his hands are tied. So it 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 felt like it was kind of like his choice not to uh, to cross over, but it's almost like he's hanging on to you or family and kind of just rehashing the pain that uh, that happened. Um, However, I don't know if it's because he feels like he can't do it or if something's holding him back. So, but I definitely, yeah, I had the um, Eight of Swords. Debbie, is that what you had? Yes, Ten of Swords. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, Tess had said that um, we never got to say goodbye. You can so say it. You Just can, say it out loud. And they definitely hear you. Um, yep. Let's see. Now my tablet doesn't want to go back to all the other questions because I know we had one. Forgot. Did we do Mary? Mary, who says, um, "Does my kid's father, Craig, have any guidance for me and the girls?" That that's the one I was looking for. Exactly that one. Okay, so Craig is passed. I'm assuming here. All yeah. right. Okay. So let's see. So, yeah, so Craig, so they're going to try to tune in to Craig and see what he's going to say to you. Hopefully, he'll have some really good advice for you as well. Um, um, I feel like I've, I'm have i connecting to him. I'm, I'm not going to use cards on this one. Uh, Mary, for you, um, Craig, to me, I he keeps showing me... Um, motorcycles i don't know if he was into motorcycles or he's proud of it and he's standing in front of it and also he um he's a man's man and he was he, it feels like um he was the love of your life um he he definitely he's definitely pushy so <laughs> he wants he's kind of it feels like he uh wants to be right so like when it comes to your choice in choosing men um, or anything like that, he wants to say in that. So if you feel a lot of feelings towards anybody in particular or in, in um, did he um, freeze? freeze? Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> I don't know if he froze or not. I can't. I don't. He would be hearing us. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, uh, let me go ahead. And I don't know how he's going to get out of it since he's been controlling this. <laughs> so, Mary, um, there may be something that you um, lack in motivation. And um, he stepped out, I guess. Oh, lack in motivation. Oh, my, oh, my, my page just totally froze, <laughs> froze and went away. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, Thank you, Craig. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you want to finish or or are you finished? I think, uh, I don't know what I left on. Cause, uh... About her choice in men. <laughs> okay. What it feels like. Okay. So, yeah, um, I, I kept feeling air being blown on the back of my neck. So I think it was a trickster as well because I, I physically felt that on my neck. I don't have a fan going on or anything. And uh, Craig, um, yeah, he, he needs to be right. And he wants to choose for you in your choice of men. So that's my, my message <laughs> from Craig. Yeah. Um, what I got was uh, that there may be something that um, – that you're not motivated to do, Mary. So um, uh, do get your, you know, all the motivation you can. Ask the other side to bring it. Uh, crossing you in temporary energy is a really great energy of really wanting everything in life, like a great uh, relationship and family and, and money and everything. Keep that there because that's how you manifest it in. Um, you may have a short trip coming up in the future. Matter of fact, um, I do feel like you went on a, you had a clean slate and a fresh start and a wonderful beginning already. So I feel good about that. Even though I do see healing still coming, I do get the queen of pentacles. So I feel like there's a money minded woman and I would think that's you. Um, I also get the king of cups card, which is, um, uh, the male that's kind, devoted and, um, a loyal, um, someone that might have liked nature and water. Uh, I do feel like, I really do feel like maybe there's a trip coming up. Okay. Just even though this is healing and going in the right direction, I, I still want to say there might be a trip coming up. Um, I feel like involved too, maybe, uh, coming in for you is an ambitious, strong woman. Okay. That would be an ally for you. I do see that there's grieving and sadness and loss. I feel like he experienced it also, but you have a great message and it's a star card. And, and the star card for me is that to have a positive attitude and to wish it to be. So to manifest for what you want and to do have courage and hope, get your inspiration from above because it's positive for the future for you. Not only is this from him, this is also from the other side. When I first started doing tarot, I wanted a message for someone, someone who um, needed it. And it tends to come when the person has been cycling Groundhog Day over and over and not getting the result. And they need to get out of that, or they've had some ups and lots of downs. So this has come as the ultimate outcome for you, is to have that hope and courage because the other side, along with him, is saying it's so great in the future for you. So it's really one of the best cards ever. So it's going to be great. All right. Are there any more? Well, let's see. After that, it was my mom asking a question. We can do um, one more, and then we've got to go on to the contest. Let's see. Yeah. And Vicki, we miss you, but we will do this again. Yeah. So let's see. It would let me scroll back, and it's not. See, my tablet's oh, acting up Will now. Grandpa move? Yeah, will Grandpa Can move? Can I answer this? Fat yeah. chance. <laughs> no, I don't think he's going to. Okay, will Grandpa move? Okay. <laughs> we already know Grandpa. Okay. Willie move. Let's see. I just got off the phone with him not that long ago. <laughs> oh, Bree, your phone keeps freezing? 
Yeah, my tablet's acting crazy. I don't know what's going on with that. It'll like erase half the comments. It's and that Craig. Come back in. I'm gonna say it's Craig. It's all Craig's fault. <laughs> um, let's see. Mom, my mom just said he's thinking about it. Oh. Um, let's see. Vicky's been answering back to our fans too. So if we did do a reading for you tonight, um, make sure. Oh. I'm going to do a special shout out to my little cousin, Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Hi, Janelle. <laughs> Hello, I Janelle. Love, I love you and I miss you so much. Um, Mary, <laughs> he would mess with uh, you. <laughs> okay. Are we ready for grandpa? Yep. Okay. He came, the card that came down for him is the eight of cups, which is, uh, leaving and going in another direction. That's when we have something just about all built up and we're going to go. But this represents him. It's not the reading. Crossing is I feel like he's fulfilled all his desires and goals in his life. I think he's had everything. Mm -hmm. um, I really kind of feel like uh, in the future, there might be a chance of him uh, being impulsive. <laughs> so it would be interesting. Um, he's, I feel like he, he's already thinks he's made the right decision. Okay. Um, I see. Um, I do feel like he's got all these opportunities because he has the seven of cups and that's when you've got all these these major decisions to make. He hasn't made it yet. He has someone in spirit. Uh, he's got the super high uh, psychic card here. So there is somebody in spirit with him now. Um, I, I do get invention with him, super creative and invention uh, ideas that make money. And I have him sitting on his money and hanging on to it. Um, I want to <laughs> tell you though, for grandpa, I do get magnified fears. So you would have to, I don't have him moving. You would have to get him to, to alleviate these fears before we would go. Because even though we say it's simple, you can come, he's made it huge. And he, it's not that simple for him. So he's, he's very fearful about making this move. And so I don't see him doing it. I think he's already felt, he's already made that decision of what he wants to do truly. Um, and he's still thinking about it, yes, but he's got a lot of fears. So you got to work on that. Okay. Totally have to work on that. I have a really random question for you, Aunt Debbie. When you started saying towards the end about his fears, mm -hmm. your my headphones, you sounded like distorted through my headphones. And then you came back clear. That was Telling weird. You. I'm almost like, now is that my other grandma? <laughs> Letting me know that you're telling us the truth. Andy, what did you get? I, I'm um, telling you the truth. <laughs> I know you're always telling me the truth. <laughs> I I got many of the same cards as you, Debbie. Just the kind of a different yeah, different way. Um, I got medical or uh, medical issues or a good relationship. I got the medical card, a good relationship with the doctor. The, the energy crossing him is the psychic card. So that's happening now. So um, <laughs> um, I He's do. He's got feel... someone in spirit. Okay. It's close. Okay. Um, I, I do feel like he's. He's got a, I don't, I don't know him or anything, but the energy I get from him is like, he's acts, he's kind of like, a, he's got a lot of energy, like a little child or a boy. There's something about him that's very energetic. He feels like uh, he can do anything and he, um, yes. and Bingo. kid Bingo. like, I get the sun card. So it's just like a little boy and he's happiness and he probably talks with his hands like I'm doing now. Um, <laughs> however, um, he, he's going to be, I, I got judgment, so he's going to have kind of like an epiphany. So he, he, this is where I feel his fear is coming in that he's going to feel alone and he feels kind of alone in all of it. Um, um, uh, the queen of cups shows, uh, shows up. So she's, a, she's 
the support of female. So it's probably, I, I do feel like it's you, Cheryl, you know, it if is. you're, in, you're involved with that, Definitely um, her. You, you're the intuitive, the good listener, the supportive and a care, um, and a caretaker. Care, caretaker. Oh. Um, and fear, I get the moon card. So he's very fearful about moving. He's so used to where he's at now. He's uh, it's stuck. safe and routine. Mm-hmm. And, and he has fear. his doctor. Yeah. Yeah. The okay. Um, and the final outcome is, you know, what could get him to go is, you know, if there's, he got the new job card, but he's holding on to his money as well. <laughs> so page of pentacles. Um Maybe he'll have a, a a new financial opportunity come up to where he could invest or do something. I'm gonna say he's still going to make money. Yeah, he it, has that card. Still going to make money. Yeah, it's coming. So, um, that was so on point, Andy. That's when you said that acting like a little kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that made me laugh. That I'm was surprised we didn't find the traveling card. But I feel like he's got that, he had the world card crossing him. So that's that, just doing everything he's ever wanted to do. Um, do you think, Andy, that he's still just in flux and thinking about it? Mm-hmm. I just get oh, yeah. so much uh, yeah. about it. He's okay. all up in his head right now. So it's, he's causing more fear in his, and doubt in his head than what he needs to. But he's very, um, he likes to think things through. And he, yes. it needs to be his, more so his idea than other people's <laughs> idea. So um, if Cheryl can <laughs> kind of make it sound like it's his idea in a certain way um, without him realizing that, then I think... It would, you would work. have progress there, yeah. I, I'm just going to say I didn't see the move. I just see the fear. Uh, yeah. Guys, we have to move on. Um, it's getting late, and so it's contest time. Jackie, um, yep. um, I have a number, and you can run the contest right now. Yeah, want. so everybody write down your numbers from 1 to 100. It's actually funny. Me and Aunt Debbie were both thinking the same number, so... You can't fool us. So we wrote it down use earlier. Your telepathy on me. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, mom, you're not playing. Just to let you know. <laughs> oh. You can put a number down to see if you're close, but you can't win. She yeah. said only because she's won it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> your, your last prize is still in the mail. I I mean, come on. Um, I know we're waiting for numbers now. I did say my Cousin Janelle was um, ago, and she said that she smells cigarette smokes in the house and a lot of other strange things. Mm-hmm. Is it normal? I don't think you were here when I was explaining. Yes, any smell, sense, song, movie, noise, anything like that—that's him around you. And your family. And just letting you know that he's always watching over you. Um, Because we have that happen here. I mean, me and Aunt Debbie, once again, she was at the pet store and she heard a remix of Seasons in the Sun, which is a song that reminds me of my mom's mom, my grandmother. Every time I hear it, I know she's with me. So it's normal, Janelle. Get used to it. (laughs) Okay, we've got some numbers. Janine was 77, Sabine with 13, Mary 33, Carrie 23, Brandy 88, Lori 55, Janelle 66, Patricia 50, Tina with 62, Pam 71, Molly 86, and um, uh, Taz with um, 23. So that it? Everybody got it in? I mean, let's do ten more seconds, guys. I think that's this is everything. for a Starbucks gift card, and I'll be mailing it. Everybody get All yours right. in. Five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty. Do you want to show them the number that we wrote down earlier? Mm-hmm. Oh. 99. 99. 99. So let's see. Brandy, I actually think you're the closest because you put down 88. 
Yay, Brandy. Yay, Brandy. Brandy, private message me um, your address and I'll mail you uh, a cup of coffee because <laughs> that's about all it's going to <laughs> be able to get with it. A coffee and, you know, something else or two coffees, maybe. Um, so congratulations, Brandy. Yes. And guys, it's time to go to the lobby. Vicki, um, we miss you a lot. And Vicki McDonald, you can find her where? Um, Andy, do you have her uh, name oh. of her Facebook? Um, also, um, our sponsor, Jackie, who's our sponsor? It is, oh my goodness, now I already yeah. forgot the name of it. The Checkered Lily. Checkered Lily. Apothecary. Apothecary. Yes. Apothecary. Apothec yeah. And that's actually ran by my cousin and Aunt Debbie's niece, Kimberly mm -hmm. Boucher. Is that how you pronounce her last um, name? Boucher. Boucher. See, I'm terrible with names. I need or practice. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> I One Boucher. or the other, tomato, tomato. Nobody but, knows um, now who this is a sponsor. <laughs> but the Checker Lily Apothecary you can find on uh, Etsy store. Etsy. Also on mm -hmm. Facebook for the best makeup you'll ever have. Yes. Fabulous colors. Just absolutely handmade. And she has vegan and she has everything. And yes. um, safe glitter. And um, it's just really great. She's been on BuzzFeed. So do check her out. And um, what is our favorite color? The seance, seance, seance oh, which the copper one, yes, yeah. yeah. And um, Vicky's haunted, haunted what medium, yes. Um, <laughs> we are on the ball, people. Aren't you so glad you this came? is what makes people come back is that they see yeah, us be like every people. other normal people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, her Facebook group here, uh, Vicki McDonald's face, uh, Facebook group is called Experience with Haunted and Medium Reading. And I will uh, put it up on the screen here. And she does, she goes live a lot. And, it, you know, it's hit and miss how many people are going to be there. So there's always a great opportunity to get a free reading from her. And like I said, she's just phenomenal. So do check her out on Facebook. That'd be great. Yes. So we did our sponsor. All the stuff that we should have done, like, on the half hour we're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now they can remember all this crazy mess and be like, wait, what was it that they, what was the sponsors yeah. again? Right. Do, do watch us on YouTube, The Psychic Life. Wednesdays. Um, Wednesday at 6.30 Pacific, 7.30 Mountain, and so 9 on. 9.30 my time. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, you're and fine. We, um, we have a lot of people that were waiting to come on. We have a dream expert. We have a crystal expert. Um, we'd love to have... Daphne Stoba back with her uh, paranormal uh, mediumship uh, stories. And we have a lot of people that we want to come in and be with us. So Wednesday's a little bit different where we show you uh, the life of a medium and psychics. And behind me is my whiteboard of missing people and stuff. So I talked about some of the cases that I'm working on. And we talk about the readings and events that are coming up or if we've gone somewhere spooky and tell you the story of maybe what happened. So it's a little bit different than doing all the readings that we do on Friday. Um, but anyway, we thank you so much for um, joining us tonight. We're so excited about our fans. And uh, please, um, if you go to The Psychic Life on YouTube, um, subscribe. We need to get a lot of people yeah, there. To subscribe, <laughs> comment, leave us a like on that button. Yeah. Let us we know that you're enjoying it. Or if you haven't subscribed to Psychic Fixes on Facebook, please. Subscribe. That would be That'd be great. All right, guys. It's time to All go right. to the lobby. Good night, everyone. Thank oh, you yeah. guys for joining Thank us. So much. So, and so much. Sabine, I'm going to call you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye.